Hey kid, let phony. Okay, right. That's what I meant to you do. Shooting at me? Are you shooting at me? Hey moron, moron, this. You must be shooting at me. There's no one else here. Oh, I meant to do this, am I? Oh, Tannen, make like a tree and die, rat. That's. Hey, had a girl. Hey kid, let phony. Okay. So, I'm afraid I'm finding it difficult to concentrate with all the bullets flying around my head, Mr. Callahan. Sorry. Right. He's not about to let me in. No. Right. Make it easier. Now do I pass the light to on yourself? Want a light? I don't smoke. Okay. Hey, moron! More on this! I have no idea what I'm doing. So, I'm afraid I'm finding it difficult hmm. to concentrate with all the bullets flying around my head, Mr. Callahan. Right. Moving target is harder to hit. Am I meant to just be running around like an idiot? I can do the running around like an idiot thing. I just don't know if it's actually. No sure. one messes with Kid Tannen. Mm. Run back. Huh. He's not about to let me in. I'm confused for what I'm meant to be doing. The best venture. Now it's behind the barrels. So I'm meant to just be behind the barrels going, Hey! Hey! Hey you! Hey! Come on! Go, Tannen! Make like a tree and die, rat! Barrel. <gasps> right, I think I know what I'm meant to do. Right, roll this. Are you sure? Under there. Rolling for ten. Because there's going to be all of that dynamite, apparently. Boom. Hey, kid! That, that ain't a real gun. Oh, right. I forgot. I better just get rid of it then. Oh, crap. Yes. <coughs> hey, he's getting away! Oh, no. Oh, that's what Emmett is. Yes. No. There. Good as new. Wonderful. Oh, look, Hannon. The judge's son. No. All right, Parker. I want a getaway car and a clear road to Nevada, or the brown kid gets it. Doc. Marty. Doc? Yes, it's me. I'm talking to you through the radio apparatus my younger self has installed in the rocket car. What's going on up there? You're about to get shot. Yeah, good, Doc. Trixie and Parker did their part, but now Kid's holding you hostage. Right, Scott. No kidding. Try to get Kid in the car. Once he's inside, give me a signal, and I'll do the rest. How am I? You! Emmett! No! You're the cause of all of this, ain't you? Well, he's alive. That's good. Should have known. You don't look like any Callahan I ever seen. Yeah, well, what kind of gangster? What kind of gangster calls himself Kid? I'm just dodging around for no reason, aren't I? Hey! Ah, kid! Whee! <laughs> of course. Right. Tannen, I'm placing you under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder, tax evasion, and smelling like a piece of crap. Tax evasion? Haven't you heard? The feds are practically drooling over Trixie's books. Trixie? What you get for killing Artie, you bastard! What? 
I didn't. Trixie? Artie? All right, Grandpa. My poor car. I believe I owe you an apology, Mr. Brown. Thanks to your ridiculous contraption, Hill Valley's most notorious criminal is finally headed to prison. No apologies necessary, Miss Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out of control failure. I need a new idea. Aww. If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. Uh oh. But first, I think we should take in a movie. I'm all yours, Mr. Brown. I think you'll like it. It's all about a brilliant scientist with an overabundance of hubris. Whew. Come on, Einie. Let's go find Doc. Off we go. There we go. We got Tannen. Thanks for letting me fly the DeLorean, Doc. This thing's a blast. Yeah. I'm absolutely sure that everything's back to normal. Totally. Kids going to jail, Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. Sounds and good. I remembered Einstein this time, too. Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie, I think we're ready to go back to 1986. You feel yourself fading out of existence? No. Then, as long as your father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. Sowing oats? Is that what's going on with you and Edna? What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna, they're gonna go see Frankenstein together. That's... hard. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh dear. We've got to get back in. It's going to be disastrous. Stop! That doesn't sound good. Shouldn't be driving what you get for driving like that. Where'd you go, Doc? Where's Doc? Uh, We've got everything under control. Doc? Uh-oh. That looks worrying. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Father George, Mother Lorraine. Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. A re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Zero demerits until this morning. We're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is what happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Well, there we go. Sounds interesting as to what's going to happen. Uh, so, it's... I think it's kind of difficult to review these outside of the first one. Once you've done the first one, said it's a puzzle game, you run around and do silly things. Um, and you, uh, yeah, you're talking to people, you've got a few options. It's quite interesting just seeing the plot and how the time travel all links together, but beyond that, there's not a huge amount to talk about outside of this, and this is fun. I'm not sure where the story's going. I think I've played this before, so I should know, but, um, yeah, the story's going to be interesting.
Blingle, blingle. Back to the main screen. So, that's the end of episode two. Um, I'll probably do another Let's Play somewhere down the road. Well, I will be doing another Let's Play somewhere down the road. I'll be doing another Let's Play after this, um, and then get to episode three. Eh, kind of like I've done but with episode one and this, is do something else, and then we'll get to episode three when we get to it. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.